first thing that you want to do here is to start to crop the image. Now we already have selected our object selection tool. The object selection tool will allow you to select any items you wish to select there. But in this case, you can also use the crop tool. With the crop tool, nice and easy, perhaps just start to bring in the side and the canvas just around the photo that you wish to edit. And here we are. We can see a little bit more of this image coming through and it looks quite dark as well. By converting your photo into or your image, your layer in Photoshop into a smart object, you will be able to preserve the original pixels. This is a, one of the best way besides just creating copies of the same layer to work non-destructively, which is extremely important to preserve the content of your photo. What if, if you do not have a straight image, you can use a, what is called a prospective crop tool it will allow you to create a crop. I'm gonna have to wing it a little because I cannot really see much because it's everything off white. Here we create this specific area, then press on return. I'm gonna press command A to select this area and control C to select all the pixels and copy them. Then I'm just gonna press command Z to simply undo and go back and then command v and here what i've done i literally pasted straight that area i'm gonna use this one as a smart object convert this into a smart object go back and place it into whatever it is its original position you can also use the command key in order to bring it back what i tend to do is to set the opacity maybe to 50 percent i'm gonna try really my best to reposition it again go to the corner of the bounding box after you select command t to transform and bring this smart object back to its original position. So remember, with the crop tool, we cropped the original area, then we saved it into a smart object. And now that we have the smart object, I'm placing the smart object back into its original position. Set it back to 100%. It looks like I missed it a little bit there, but time is ticking. Let's see if I can fix it real quick. I want it to be a little bit more precise. Now we created our mock-up like just we did for our poster. All we're left to do is to double click on it in order to open up our smart object into a separate layer. Double click inside the layer to open it up. I'm just gonna have to drag it there. So let's assume that that's the cover of our magazine. Command S to save, Command V to undo, and here it is. The mock-up of our book already sits there and um, sits inside our mock-up. If you want perhaps this area of the image to show through, you also have some options. For example, duplicate my background, go ahead and uh, use my lasso tool to delete all this area and to make it white basically i don't have anything because all i'm after is the little rim that i have at the edge there so i'm just gonna fill that with white let's go ahead and make this selection white maybe if i grab this color over there is a little bit better looks like it's the same color of the magazine command d to deselect now that i have my mock-up i can then use the multiply effect in order to start to bring in the shadow of the original image here it is and another thing that you can do perhaps here if you want to just use the normal mode is to just have areas of your image apply the opacity have the opacity down a little bit on multiply in order to start to bring all the shadow here so what i'm looking for is all the area of the magazine down here that i want to bring into my mock-up bye bye for now ciao ciao